With a name like Chris Bass, he was destined for baseball. But he decided to dabble in other sports, like football. I, I didn't play football that much when I was younger, so it's, it's, every day I was learning something new and I didn't have the, uh, I guess, the better background that most of the other players did have playing football their whole lives. But I, I guess the reason I don't play football anymore is because I'm 6'1", I only weigh 180 pounds, and um, I'm not very fast. Finally, he heard the gods calling and stayed with his first love. I started playing organized baseball when I was four years old in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It just stuck with me from the moment that I, that I went out there. Um, it was just, it, you know, I just have a blast out there. I would like to uh, coach um, baseball or football and teach, preferably at the uh, high school level. Come on, Clark. Hey, come on, Kenny. You're looking good, man. You're looking good. Settle down, settle down. Um, there's more to baseball than what people think. There's just so much thinking going on into every pitch, every at bat, and even on the bench, you gotta think a lot more than people realize. I mean, it's not just goofing around on the bench, not paying attention to the game. <laughs> Keeping it loosey-goosey and fun-loving is a way of life for this up-and-coming pitcher and his team. Good eye, good eye. Baseball is a pretty hard sport to play if you're not having fun. That's why I enjoy playing for this team, because I like to keep it loose. Over here, we got the peanut butter and jelly station. In one game, we go through about three or four jars of peanut butter. The easiest way coach figured out to feed us is to go get five or six jars of peanut butter and five or six jars of jelly and, and just go to town on it. You like creamy or crunchy? Well, I'm kind of a creamy, crunchy guy. What's peanut butter do for your game, Blake Sills? Keeps me in the zone. Are you a creamy or a crunchy kind of guy? Well, basically, uh, Mr. Bass. Um, I like to mix it up. Every once in a while, I'll go with crunchy. I'd say more majority, I go creamy. Any jelly on it? Just maybe a touch of jelly every now and then, but I'm kind of just a peanut butter guy. Um, why do you choose strawberry? It's the first one I saw. What do you think about guys that put jelly on their peanut butter sandwiches? Uh, I think they have a hard life ahead of them. I see, I see the sandwiches Sam makes. And they just don't add up. It, it looks like you know, a, a fourth grader's lunch meal. There's no know? comparison there. Yeah, he'd have a little more junk in the trunk if he put some, you know, peanut butter on his sandwich. I agree with you. There are no athletes quite like baseball players. They are strange creatures indeed. Whatever happened to a regular handshake? I don't really know how the handshakes came about. There is so much downtime in baseball, rain delays, the bench. You just gotta, you just gotta think of stuff. I guess it's just an unspoken bond and a unique bond that each person has with uh, each other. Me and Joey have a handshake. We can demonstrate that for you. That'd be good to see. Mixing it up with a handshake here. I think that's the patty cake. Yep, that's the patty cake. I don't know what that was. They go from a patty cake into a Koopa move. Whenever we're having a tough time, me and Joey haven't done it for about five minutes, we go ahead and do that, get, get taken care of. That's why we scored 10 runs today. In between making up handshakes and snacking on some peanut butter sandwiches, Chris has found his own calling for keeping the players loose. I'm not sure how people found out about it on the team, but hopefully it still, it still makes people laugh, still makes people, you know, just keeps them loose, I guess. Kind of like a loud, I mean, I guess a loud uh, peacock. Um, I don't really, I don't know how to describe it. That's my peacock. With goofy, fun-loving guys like these, it's no wonder why Chris loves the game so much. Good luck this season.